All right, how y'all doing? Uh, we're back on our 61 GMC truck. And uh, what I'm trying to do here, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to mount the computer under the dash. So uh, what I did, I uh, took the factory bracket. Okay, this is our computer right here, which has already been reprogrammed by Street and Performance. It's had all the emission control stuff taken off of it. It's all been uh, reprogrammed for the size tires and this, that, and the other, and all the other good shit that it gets reprogrammed for, because that's what you pay $385 for to have your computer reprogrammed, which probably only takes about 10 or 15 fucking minutes to do, but that's the easy life of the way of making easy money. So that was $385 to have that reprogrammed. Thank you very fucking much. For a 10 minute fucking job. Must be nice. Must be fucking nice. So we got our uh, computer. Now what I did is I went ahead and uh, took the factory bracket, which is made of plastic, which we will be using in our truck. We want to go ahead because that's $385 and if we fuck it up, we'll have to go to the junkyard and get another one and have it reprogrammed for $385. So I'm going to go ahead and take that out and set it right here. Because we definitely don't want to fuck that up. So if you look right here, you can see that this was the old bracket. Now, I went ahead and cut the back section off because this actually mounted uh, underneath the battery inside the engine compartment of the original 2006 uh, Chevy truck or 02 or whatever it was. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to make some brackets where we can mount it basically like this right here. Okay, up and down, and inside the car uh, where the kicker panel is on the passenger side, up as far as I can get it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some brackets that actually bolt to this. If you can see that what I'm doing here, I'm going to make it where it bolts to that, and then I'll be able to bolt this to the existing inner slash outer firewall. I really don't like doing it that way. I'm going to use carriage bolts on the outside. Uh, the reason that I'm not going to weld the brackets on, which I wish I could do that, is because we've already done all the body work to the firewall. We've already painted the firewall, and it's already done. If I weld anything to the firewall uh, with the Bondo buildup that it's got and all the body work that I've done to it, what will happen is that will create a heat behind all the body work and the paint and there will be an air pocket uh, behind everything. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay. And then what will happen is I'll have to grind all that out and redo it. Okay. You get the picture. All right. So I'm going to take my angle iron. I'm going to cut out some brackets approximately, you know, to fit in here. All right. And I'll just go ahead and bolt those on there. Then we'll go over to the truck and we'll uh, see where we're going to drill it out and uh, go from there. 1961 GMC truck. Today is the day we're working on it. It's been a long time since we worked on our 61 Chevy truck. GMC truck. But we're back on it and hopefully sooner or later it will be running. Okay, if you look right there you can see that I took some L bracket material and I went ahead and bolted it on there with some carriage bolts. So, uh, walk over there so you can get a better look at that. There you go. So that's ready to bolt into the truck and hook our computer up. So let's go over there and let's check it out. See you over at the truck. Now, my initial plan was to kind of hide it up over in this area here, but that ain't gonna be, because there's already a bracket hanging down that I probably could have used a bolt or two. But uh, as I started looking, we got to put an air conditioning in, it, in this uh, truck too. 
because he wants AC in it. And it'll probably be one of the uh, truck units where all the vents are down here. You see what I'm saying? And maybe have the defrost on the back side. So I take my uh, bracket that I made. Well, I didn't make it, but you understand what I mean. And the most logical place that I figured out that we'll be able to put this is right there. That looks like a reasonable spot. Uh, and that's where it's going to go, right there. So what I'll do is I'll drill them holes out. And uh, once I drill them out, I'll go ahead and put carriage bolts from the outside in. And what that'll do for me is uh, hold our bracket on. And won't fuck up the firewall or the bondo. So uh, it's pretty much a cut and dry situation, I mean. You know, uh, the street performance does give us plenty of wire to work with, as you can see here. Way too much. We'll have to bring that wire up here and around and come back. And shh, it's a big mess. But uh, whichever way the computer is facing toward, okay, the connectors, whichever way the connectors face for, that's the way that I will put it in there. So. Uh, huh get that in there and uh, we'll be back to see what the situation is uh, you know putting an electronic fuel injection engine in a, an old truck vehicle like this isn't really as hard as you think it would be if you have the proper equipment and proper uh, wire harnesses and tools to do the job it's actually uh, uh, the most thing that it is is time-consuming so you know, you got to figure out a lot of stuff, kind of like this computer here, okay? And I think it'll actually look pretty good there myself. So, I'll be able to cover it with carpet and uh, insulation and you won't even see it. So, I'm going to get that mounted in there, we'll get the computer on there, and we will be back. Alright, you see I got the computer mounted in there, it looks really nice. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hook up all the... Uh, wires because I got to route this up here and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the computer to the wire harness and this is a pretty simple easy situation all you got to do is pretty much basically line it up in there it only goes in one way and then uh, screw it in so we go ahead and line this one up I don't know if you can see that or not but uh, if you look right inside here you can see the notches on the uh, there we go you can see the notches, so it only fits in one way. So we'll go ahead and plug that in. Get it started. And once again, we don't want to over tighten it. Let me get all that put in there. I'm going to wire it up. I don't think we need to watch that being done pretty much basically cut and dry. You can figure out how to wire the fucker up, okay? I'm going to go ahead and uh, wire it up. I got to extend that and uh, hopefully one day we're going to get this thing running. This is Pete. Take it easy. We'll see you later. So we'll be back. This is Pete, Southwest Rod and Custom. That's Bruno, and we're always here, right? So take it easy, have fun, and enjoy what you're doing. See you later.